Hello and welcome back. I just sneezed. This is uh, Let's Be Advising You. I lied. I couldn't let us go without playing the third place playoff um, against Germany. The final game of, of Wheatland's international reign. Let's get right down to it. Um, the Germans, the team that we drew... No, we didn't drew. We beat them uh, in the semi-final of the... Uh, Euros two years ago we have the chance here to um, continue that and finish third um, the last appearance for Ben Wheeland as manager of the England team uh, and it only seems right that uh, the Germans a team who we have no particular connection with uh, are the team that we have to play let's go Wayne O'Leary no uh, no uh, maybe Wayne O'Leary we haven't really got very many players left um Ward is tired. We'll run them all into the ground. Why not? Uh, defensively, we don't have Mr... Yeah, we lost all our best players to injury in the end. That's unfortunate. Um, but it's essentially what has pushed us back. Herschel Green playing for them in midfield. Uh, they've also got Marco Royce, who at the age of, what, nearly 100, uh, has dropped back into a right-back role. <laughs> um, anyway, let's go with it. Rich Bartlett, tell me what you want to see. I'm going to say, come on, lads calmly tell them that this game doesn't matter and then we will see uh yeah we'll see how the the press when i retire we'll see how the press uh consider my my time in charge of england i feel like i'm one of the best managers england's ever had um a world cup semi-final a final of the confederations cup and a win for the um european championships and uh, not we've only won the euros what twice maybe um we've only won the world cup twice i think so um, I, I've got to be up there in, in that top five, at least, of all-time England managers. Let's just have a look. England won it once. Tw yeah, tw two World Cups. Actually, a few European championships. Have, have they scored already? No, it's been disallowed. For fuck's sake. I'm looking at something else. Sorry. Uh, Germany have obviously won a bunch of things. Um, England wins the Euros in 2012, 2028, 2052... 2068. Oh, so actually, they win the Euros quite regularly. Uh, but yeah, 2100 as well. McElhenney gets it away. Ward with the ball there. Can you give it up the line? He does towards uh, our man, but Seidel collects. And it looks like they are going to win this game uh, just based on the early uh, pressure they're putting on. Uh, Sokolovsky, but Katika Ridis gets it away. Roland, no need for that, but does it anyway. Uh, kicking it out. That's a shame. Okay, Huber. Lovely stuff. Ten minutes gone. So yeah, we we're certainly one of the better England managers. Um, the thing is, what is slightly annoying with, um, I, maybe it does it differently in the newer games, but on this game, it, whereas at clubs you can have club legends and stuff like that, in this you don't ever get international legends. So I, I feel like it would be it would be pretty cool if like all all the players who get over a hundred appearances become. Uh, legends for their nation, all the managers who win something become a legend, so that they can, you know, be remembered in the same way that oh, Katy Carida is going to get sent off twenty-eight minutes into the third place playoff. <sighs> well done, mate. Um, well, we can go into self-preservation mode here. Eric Bailey does not need to uh, injure himself uh, in in pursuit of a title that nobody cares about, third place in the World Cup. So we'll bring on Damon Miller. Uh, for probably only his second or third game for England. Herschel Green, his free kick is saved acrobatically by McElhenney there. Um, yeah, I just think it would be cool if it had that feature so that you could go look, look back through at, uh, former greats of each country and, uh, and and then even like the smaller countries where they don't have like so much success, they would at least still have a record of, of decent players that they had. Um, it's a shame that wasn't implemented on this. Maybe it's not even implemented on the new ones. If it isn't, they should do that because I think it's cool. I like it stats i'm sure you have guessed um and that would be what i want why is he number nine defensive center mid slash uh, sorry so, so, defensive mid slash defensive defensive mid slash center back and he's been given the number nine shirt cool mccallany to roland roland up the line but not really coupe sort of drifted inside there uh, they're playing a very defensive formation as well. This is the kind of formation that we absolutely dominated Brazil against. Um, I was thinking about this walking. The, the reason I ended up recording this was because I went out uh, on a walk yesterday and was thinking about how, like, the the difference between the Brazil game where we absolutely battered them and uh, the the sort of turgid 
Mexico game where we went out on penalties. Um, it just sort of upset me, and uh, it was also it's, it's, it, it was interesting. It's yeah, it's fun. Anyway, um, the ball chipped in by Herschel Green, uh, but McElhenney tips it wide. Um, yeah, I just felt like I didn't want to leave it on that note. So Stenning, maybe you can try and get us. A, oh no, Are we. I said like I said, calm guys. When we started this match, didn't say passionate. Didn't say go out and kill them. Jamie Stenning booked on thin ice. Oh, God, we've yeah. Yellow cards ripping through our side here. Sawyer, good tackle. Sawyer's been a really outstanding player this uh, tournament. As actually has the guy who's been... Oh! Uh, actually, that is Sawyer, yeah. I was going to say the guy who's been playing left back. That is Sawyer. <laughs> um, yeah, Gross, Seidel. Back to Lecco. Seidel. Have we even had a shot? don't think so. We've had one shot on target. We've had two shots in total. Uh, McElhenney... Flipping ball. Okay, Miller towards Ward. Lentz to Gross to Herschel Green. Seidel. Oh man, they're playing it around us like nobody's business. That's a great ball in. Keshi clears. Oswald. Um, now Lentz, his shot was poor. They're not great, but with the man advantage, they're certainly better. Uh, they're certainly able to keep hold of the ball a little bit better and build from the back. Germany have definitely been the better side. I don't think you can really say perhaps been the better side. Um, I'm going to tell them I'm not happy, and I'm going to passionately. Let's just get everyone sent off, lads. Passion. We've actually only got one yellow card, so they've actually got more yellow cards than us. Well, no, they've got one, two. We just two yellow cards into a red. Anyway, standing to May. Sawyer, can we try and get a shot, maybe? One that we can visibly see. May to O'Leary. Sawyer. Crosses towards Coupe. Coupe back in towards Stenning. May Stenning. Oh, and a bit of pinball and the ball gets cleared. Sokolovsky now running with it. Uh, gives it to Royce. Um, what a player. And it's gone out for a throw-in off our man. Uh, what an end to a England reign. Uh, a nil-nil draw in the third place playoff. <laughs> it's not going to be nil-nil. Oswald to Klinger. Klinger. Uh, Huber. Should have been doing better with that. Come on now. May collects. Gives it to Ward. Ward up to Stenning. Come on. 50 minutes. May collect it and go. Ward goes right through the back of his man. Ward's going to be knackered as well by this point, surely. 75. He's not playing well. Bring on Curry for Ward. Or no. Let's not do that. Let's do this. Stenning out on the right. Ward off for Reed. Reed goes central and then we can go uh, Curry on for O'Leary. May, uh, oh, no. May and Curry swap their positions. Let's try that, see if that makes any difference. That light is right in my eyes, but I can't be bothered to get up and change it, so you just get to look at the uh, heavenly version of me today. Stenning, great tackle. Takes the ball off Seidel, leaves him down for ages. Stenning, oh, Lecco makes a fantastic save. Probably our best chance on the counter, made by Stenning entirely himself. Miller puts the ball in, Gallus clears. Sawyer out to Miller, to O'Leary, to Miller again. Mm, O'Leary, Miller, Miller's still going. Gives it to Coupe, Coupe crosses. Oh, Klinger gets it away from Stenning's feet. Roland to Coupe, Gross now, Royce up to Oswald, Gross, Lentz, no, Klinger, is he going to cross? He doesn't, gives it to Oswald who does cross, towards Huber, heads it down, Lenz makes a strange effort on goal and McElhenney easily collects that one there. Coupe back to Roland, Huber, he plays it off him and it's now a throw in for us, come on, let's Try and get a... Oh, when a Reed's got booked. Let's try and have a fun result for England. Royce. I mean, you, it would be disappointting to beat Brazil 6-0 and Argentina 3-1 and then not even finish fourth. <laughs> um, oh, Jesus, I thought it was going to be a penalty. Gruber. Uh, Klinger. Is he going to go forward with it? He does. I think he actually shot. They want a foul for Coupe's tackle before. I think they should, probably should have had one. Coupe to Roland to Coupe again. Let's get it forward now. Roland to Coupe and turn and pass it forward, please. Roland. Gross takes it out. Coming all the way from the other side, Gross, to uh, 
to make that challenge. 65 minutes, we've made all our subs, there's nothing more from us. Stenning's free kick goes well over the bar, poor, a poor effort. 75 minutes gone now, and Gross with the free kick, it's squirmed in past the hand of McElhenney. Uh, he's been having a good game. It's a good free kick. Oh, it's lovely. McElhenney, I mean, it looked a lot like his face was directly in front of the ball there. It shouldn't really have gone in, but this is 2012 Football Manager, so there you go. Um, Huber with the free kick, with the corner, sorry. Gallus heads over. It's going to be done. I think that's going to be it. We can't complain. Uh, it's been a productive World Cup for us. Coupe puts the ball in the middle, standing scores, and we're back in it, of course. Now we finally score. 10 men, we get a late, late goal, and we force probably extra time. Let's see. Coupe crosses. Stenning slots it home past the goalkeeper, and finally we actually have a shot on target, and we get it in. That's nice. Um, just prolonging what can only be described as a game no one cares about, but nevertheless we have put up a bit of a fight. Roland now with a foul. That's what we like to see. Chris Rowland, yellow card. Huber to Seidel, still going, gives it into Gross, Bayer hits the post. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why Gross passed it backwards. I mean, I, I know he would have been outside either way, but I would have shot if I was him. Uh, anyway, Gruber to Gross, Sokolovsky, Huber, Huber shoots from range. Gosh, nobody cares about this game, even the players. Reed loses out, in fact, gets fouled by Gallus. Could we get, could we steal a last minute winner? Keshi for some reason taking this free kick. Miller, oh, you fucking clown. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Well, there we go. Stunning strike. I mean, it was absolute bullshit pass. Oh, well, never mind. Um, unlucky. Wheatland's um, managerial tenure <coughs> in charge of England ends with defeat to Germany in the third place playoff. Um, we end up coming fourth in the 21-02 World Cup. Uh, let's have a look what happens here. So England, poor performance, had a disappointed defeat. Fans devastated. Uh, I'll attend this here. Uh, we can hold our heads high. Yeah, they got Harry carried away. They'll bounce back. Yeah. Players take a lot of positives. Carl Coupe has a good player. Obviously, you don't like seeing your seed goal. Well, yeah, it was a good goal, but I mean, it was obviously the retarded bit of. Um, yeah. Okay, let's leave. And let's go, England. Uh, how do I. How do I retire? How do I resign from the England job? Overview. England. Squad? Uh, how do I resign? View Nation. Uh, staff. Uh, ben Wheatland. Jobs. No, how do I resign from this? Ah, okay, jobs. Uh, no, actions. Resign from England. Resign as manager of England immediately after. Um, oh, well. Okay, good little bit of a uh, <laughs> rundown of my time as England manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, well, that's that then. Uh, we'll be back uh, at the beginning of the season proper for uh, our Aves continuation. Uh, we've just won the league. We're looking to try and win it again and um, establish Aves as a bit of a force in the uh, Portuguese league. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.